Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your love message for the middle of July 2021. It's good for sun, rising, moon, and Venus sign of Sagittarius. As always, please keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading meant for just one person, so it's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. If it doesn't resonate, just take what you feel applies and leave what doesn't behind. That could be meant for someone else, or just try back next week. If you want to book a private reading with me, Sag, the link to my website is down in the description below this video. I may offer an extended reading at the end of this reading I actually think I will I feel like I will if you if you think you need the extended the link to that is at the top of the description below if you're new welcome to Soma Chandra Libra but don't be fooled by the name it's Soma Chandra Sagittarius right now you guys are amazing you're my favorite fire sign I just read for you guys on this channel but I read for all 12 zodiac signs on my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot and I read for you on Soma Chandra Tarot too if you're not looking for a love message Go check out that other channel as well. All right, let's get into it. Uh, something, I think you might be trying to connect with someone that's really going through something right now. And it looks like it might be a reconnection or like something died down for a while, but maybe it's coming back together because out of the Island Time wellness deck was coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. So starting with friendship, something casual with this person, but I also have the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. This could be a person that's changing their mind about you or you're changing your mind about them. Maybe you took a break for a while. This person might just be changing their mind or trying to change their mind about love in general general or relationships in general or you are I also have kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love somebody might be changing their mind and thinking I want to fall in love after all with you or vice versa I, I think it's this person I also have twin flames at the bottom of the deck yin and yang balance union duality coupling complementing each other I think you think that you and this person complement each other as you guys know, I'm not big on the twin flame theory. I think it's possible. If you like that word, it's, a, you know, okay. If you like it, if it makes you happy. But I see like a balance possibly between the two of you. I think you think that you and this person complement each other or you're trying to work that out. There might have been some seduction in the past. Yeah, might have been some seduction in the past. You have advice though going into this um, middle of the month. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So you're meant to be giving each other space to reflect. Also, let there be closeness between you, but also give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay. And these were not together in the deck. I was like, wow, it's a double whammy about give yourselves and each other time and space. Don't claim the other person. Just allow it. Love allows and gives and wait. Don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course. Something needs to kind of pan out naturally between you and this person. I also have transformation at the bottom of the deck. Some of you might have Scorpio in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with one. I have Pisces here. I have Virgo here, fixed sign energy here. Yeah, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers all and transforms all things. So I think there's this hesitation between you and this person. Someone might need more space and time because what's between the two of you, I cannot re remember the name of this Oracle deck. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm an air sign. I'm super flighty. <laughs> I don't remember half the names of my decks. It's a good one though. They wanted me to use it for you blossoming gratitude in reverse self-reflection i think it's this person um i think that someone around you needs to th do a lot of self-reflection at the moment there is a blossoming between the two of you but there is a gratitude flipped into the reverse when it flew out of the deck a couple cards did i usually read this deck all in the upright but when the cards go into the reverse on their own it's happening for a reason Someone might not appreciate what you bring to the table. There is a lacking in gratitude. Someone might feel like they love the other person to the point where it's thankless. I think this person fights it with you. Actually, I know that they do. I know they do. At the bottom of the deck is patient. Yeah, oh, growth is in reverse as well. You're gonna have to be patient. Something isn't blooming here. Someone's resistant. 
someone might have just gotten out of something really tough or they're I know this person's going through something because their cards their oracle cards stand alone are self-love discernment and abundance in reverse first of all this person might be having financial issues they are very discerning they do not open up easily they use their brain to make a lot of decisions they may even overthink things at times and they're really focused on self-love this person needs self-love they're not sure what's going on and something might have gone down weird between the two of you in the past or for you or for them yeah because to illuminate out of the illumination oracle deck for this person i have pride and ego love regain control karma okay this person does have ego their pride in their ego gets in the way i'm getting like stiff upper lip looks like virgo energy here but Virgos aren't necessarily prideful or egotistical. This person has some pride and ego. They do want love in their life, but with karma and lessons and regained control, this person might be getting their shit together after going through some crap. You know, because I they are the nine of wands and the hermit and the tower. They are also the star and the fool, but this is on the heels of something for this person. Yeah, they want love, but they're trying to regain control of something in their life your cards about this situation are fruition you want your ideas to come through to fruition creation you want to create something with this person assessing you are assessing the situation you really are i think you're going to make a big display of affection here either that or we've got a younger water sign as possible. I have Gemini here as well. You're assessing, you're watching, you're waiting. You do want something to happen here. And your cards are hurt, life partner, rejection, patience. But I got the four leaf clovers at the bottom of the deck and that's you. There you are. Something has hurt you either between yourself and this person or just in general. You might be hurt that you've been rejected by them as a life partner or just in general with a life partner, you are being patient. You believe luck is on your side. I see you waiting it out. Like, I don't think you've given up on love. I really don't. I think you kind of want a display of something from this person or you want to show them your love for them. There could also be children, visitor, divorce, waiting for you. Okay, kids could be involved for someone here, you or them. These oracle cards aren't going to resonate with everybody, but somebody might be like kids are attached to a mom or a dad. They want it's about visitation, waiting for you. For some of you, children are involved, but you seem to be it hurts you to be rejected, but you are being patient. I think you typically Sagittarius, I mean, you represent patience and temperance. You're usually pretty good at waiting for someone to move through some kind of a transition. I have the Ten of Swords here twice, so someone could be going through some kind of a crisis. I think some of you wanna help this person. The overall reason for the reading is the Six of Wands, and I think that that's you, Sagittarius. The way someone around you is feeling, I got two cards, the Nine of Wands and the Hermit. They see you as the world. They could see you as far away, or they see you as the world. You might be very popular. The world is at your fingertips on top of the world, possibly. They see you as a possible new cycle they could start. Things could have possibly ended between the two of you, but I think, based on the oracle cards, this is going a different way. Your advice and what you need to know is the hangman, Pisces. There could have been a Pisces involved, but of course not necessarily. But the final outcome is the Knight of Cups. Whoa. So younger water energy or a very creative, someone could be very creative, very romantic, very charming. Someone may be very poetic, artistic, musical even, a creator of some kind. Someone, I see a big, dis if that's not the case, someone could be very creative in their expression, what's weighing on them, because I've got a more difficult energy. Um, clarifying this but the reason for the reading is the six of wands clarifying the six of wands is the wheel of fortune the high priestess and the king of pentacles i get i don't know why but i feel like you're the king of pentacles and the six of wands here sag i think i mean it's a general reading so i have to interpret it a couple different ways i think that you're doing if this person sees you as the world and the nine of pentacles as well i think that you are successful i think you're listening to your intuition going with the flow 
karma, fate, timing, and destiny. Someone wants this to play out towards something very grounded, traditional. This King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, boss man or boss lady, very grounded, very stable. Someone's listening to the intuition. Somebody could be in a situation like this and not enjoying it, but they're quiet about it and they're up on their high horse and they act as if everything is fine. That might be happening. But the first message I heard was, this is you and you're doing really well. You're very serious. This person may be considering a serious relationship with you. There could be a Pisces involved. They could be distracted away from the Pisces towards you, Sag, because he's looking away. But caring, someone cares very much about appearances, is successful, wants to be. They want this to go in a good direction with you. This could be, there could be a Virgo involved. But the way this person's feeling is the Nine of Wands and the Hermit. Now I notice, look how the Nine of Wands, the person in the Nine of Wands is looking over at the person that's the Six of Wands. Like, uh, almost like intimidated. Sometimes that guy looks really annoyed. This guy looks kind of intimidated maybe withdrawn, reserved. Things could be opposite roles could be reversed though. Like this could be the way you feel about this person. Even though I said, how does this person feel about Sagittarius? They're kind of guarded. They might be a little walled off. They do need to search their soul and reflect. But underneath this, I have three major arcana. So this is a big deal for someone, the star Aquarius. This person wants renewal and freedom they want a fresh start. This might have involved them moving or leaving their home. It's like kaboom. This is a lot for this person, whoever this, for you or for this person. And they may be a little, I keep feeling like there's either an intimidation or Something may have gone down with an Aries, a Scorpio, an Aquarius. When I get a lot of major arcana, I'm like, oh, these could be different parts of your natal chart affecting things or this person's chart or people external. I think that there could have been a third party situation either between the two of you or from this person's past and they're not healed from it yet. But the way they see you is the world. Clarifying the world is the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. Well, first of all, I kind of get the feeling that this person thinks you're pretty good on your own. The Page of Wands for me is Sag energy. It's very fun, happy-go-lucky. Yeah, you guys can be the King and Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Wands, and you can be Emperors. Empress is very serious that you guys will be that, but you're this lighthearted, happy-go-lucky, down for whatever fire sign. You're the mutable fire sign. I think they see you as doing well. I think they see you as successful, or some of you are thinking about you or this person might be thinking about traveling, looking at a place to live because I have the fool and the tower here. Someone's just searching their soul about it, like wanting to be successful. They see you as successful or they want to be successful. They may want to provide for you in some way or, you know, vice versa. I think that this three of pentacles in this deck always looks a little shy. Like how come he's not stepping outside of the doorway to go shake hands or talk face to face? I think this person's kind of, maybe you're assessing them, they're assessing you. You may see this person out and about and walking. Also, you might see them on social media when they take a trip, where they are around town. Someone may walk around town. Someone may also go to a place where there's a butterfly garden and you see them there or they see you there and they think about you, but they've got to search their soul about this because here's what you need to know. The hangman, Pisces, a Pisces could be involved or there's a pause and a surrender. Someone will have to see something from a different point of view. There may be a waiting involved and there's nothing you can do until something is worked through. And I clarified the hangman and I got the three of cups, the seven of wands and the 10 of swords. Oh shit. Somebody might. And then I wanted to know what the three of cups was. And I got the six of wands, the king of wands and the queen of swords. Who's this? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female, but not necessarily. This person, there could have been a triangulation in the past and the king of wands whoever that is could have been in the past kind of aloof and stuck up and thought he could have whoever he wanted and so now you're like wait a minute player 
or someone got played in the past and got hurt and someone needs to see that and see this from a different point of view. I get the sense that someone's afraid of getting hurt again or someone might not want to admit that they hurt the other person. Like, no, I don't want to see your pain. I don't want to deal with it. You're being asked to see something from a different point of view or to say to the other person, hey, see this from my point of view. There could also be success. You could be having success with this Queen of Swords or this King of Wands. Like, this is smart. This has a lot of passionate growth potential. There's a lot of vision here in the relationship. Someone else might not want to see that and be hurt by your decision to do something else. Although I don't have an ace here. I have no aces, I have just tens. But what you need to know, the final outcome is the Knight of Cups. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the lovers, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Wands. You or this person could be Gemini energy here. Somebody is like praying on their knees and carrying heavy burden. Someone may, you may really like say to this person, I'm so sorry. Not I'm sorry or forgive me, but like you may say to them, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Let me help you with your burden. I won't ever do that to you. Or this person may be apologizing to you. They are maybe finally seeing from a different perspective what happened. They may want to come back in and have a renewal with you. They're ready to start fresh. They've thought a lot about it. Now they're more serious. Now they're the king of pentacles. But in the past you were like, yeah, but, in, but yeah, but like six months ago you were a player and kind of an ass and you made me an option. This person might say that to you. You might say that to this person. Because I have a queen of cups and a queen of swords here. And I have a king of pentacles and a king of wands. So there could have been an affair. There could have been multiple people involved. There's this chance to start over with this person. But here's what you need to know about this person further is the five of wands, the four of swords, the two of pentacles, the three of swords. This person's going through some shit. And this may have nothing to do with you, Sagittarius. This person feels tension in their environment. They need to rest. This person might have only two pennies to rub together or they don't know what to do here. They're hurt, they've been hurt. There's been heartbreak. They might not want, they might be afraid to get hurt again. They, they, maybe they're kind of scrambling. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do, regardless of who they are in this situation. This could also just be an outside influence that's making you a little unsure of yourself in the situation. I also just heard someone's prolonging or putting off having a conversation about forward motion in their life and it might not be like it could be with their roommate their kids their family their ex their parents this could be the ex of someone like a bitchy ex sometimes the queen of swords can sometimes be that I think someone might be afraid to hurt someone's feelings so they're avoiding something. I just heard that as well. I mean, this person does want love in their life, but I mean, they have to get over their ego. They have to regain control. They've gotten some consequences for choices they've made. You seem to be willing to be patient. Your cards really surprised me. I was like, whoa, who are you in this scenario? I have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Cups. The first message I heard was that you're actually not the queen of cups, that you'll do anything to help this person feel better and get over this. Like you love this person. This person's sad. They may come off as bitchy and mad, but you know that it's like you want to present this to them. There's been pain here. You want to talk about it or vice versa. Like you're sad, you're hurt. You want to talk to them. It's almost like you wish they would come towards you and offer you this. You're willing to talk about things. You're not going to have too much forward motion. You're going to move slowly and methodically. Either you've been through pain and crisis or you know that they have. But yet, I have the chariot here, the five of pentacles, cancer. Someone's left out in the cold. Someone might have to move death and the star. Someone's healing from something. And five of swords, someone's had to fight through a lot. Someone maybe had to sneak off. Here's a queen of pentacles and the hermit. This could be a Virgo. I have Taurus here. 
This could be a mother, a wife, family member. They're trying to move forward. There's been like, clearly someone's had to move on and they've had to fight for it. Money here. They might think you're doing really well. <sighs> someone's sorry here. You're sorry. I feel like you're the one that wants to do the big display of emotion. But when all these court cards come out, I was like, I think this might be Sagittarius. And they're not sure what they want here with Sag, but it could be this person saying, hey, I'm not a player anymore. I've gotten my shit together. That could be you. That could be them. So I am going to do an extended because I want to see if this person will get it together and what this pain is about, what they want with you further. I'm going to use a different Oracle deck and a you versus them. I'm also going to use in the extended reading um, the Hidden Truth Oracle deck if it's a person that you've if it's a person you've been in separation from and there's like a rekindle because somebody, you know, we got that rekindle card that's some, like you might get together and casually talk about this. This King of Pentacles could be somebody else and now you're trying to get together with them and he doesn't want that and he sees you going off with his new or his her new guy or what, something like that it's a little complicated so i'm going to do the an extended if you feel like you need the extended it's at the top of the description below but just know that this person does i feel like this is you this person is trying to regain control they do want love they might not be great at expression all the time and it might hurt you you guys might not speak the same love language either yeah so we'll see what the extended said, but that's what's happening in the middle of July for you guys. If this resonates with you, I hope it helps you. You can always book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally, Sag. The link to my website's down in the description below this video. I'm always listening to the universe for you. Take care of yourselves. I love you, Sag. I'll see you next time.